All right, welcome back. We got some more work done. All right, so we got the bumper support on. We extended our wiring for the headlights. All this wiring is for the headlights on this side. And the starter wire goes through there also. This is the uh, signal wire for the starter. All these lights down here. So we got that done. And we still got to work on the brakes a little bit. But today we're working on this tank. I had worked on this previously uh, for the guy that owned it before and they were running dash 10 off the tank so they had me weld this on. And this is actually like a 98 and older tank because it's metal. All the newer ones are uh, plastic. So it's got the uh, Kind of like a spring-loaded type of deal. Spring-loaded, spring-loaded. So all this stuff's gonna come off. I gotta leave this, which is the uh, fuel level. So I think we'll just somehow cut this off, or looks like there's just a rubber isolator on there. So we get that off, save some weight, make it about a second faster, right? Hey. <laughs> so I guess I'll tape me welding this on there. This is a dash 12, a dash 12 metal bone. We also have a cap for this one. I guess we could put like a little drain on it too. So if we ever need to drain the tank out or if someone wants to steal the fuel out of the tank. <laughs> All right, let's get to welding. See how many times I whack the camera with the filler rod or poke my eye out. Here goes nothing. Working on this old hat, fuel hat. Got the pump out. Oop. Knocked the camera over here. Got the pump out. See? No more pump. See? And we cut this tube out of its spot that was right here and made the hole bigger. And we got a bulkhead fitting in there. It's red Loctited. Never going to come loose. Ever. Now, we don't need this. This is what the return was going to. Look how it's necked down right there. It's really, we want a dash eight return, so. We're gonna guillotine this thing off. Can you hold this for me? Right, John. I'm just gonna put this right here. Watch your eyes. Bam! You got smushy. There we go. Perfect. Get off there. Yay. So the return fuel is going to come out here, so I made this nifty little tube, just a piece of aluminum tubing, put your 37 degree flare on there, put your sleeve, and then your nut, I didn't want the fuel to uh, 
be returning into the tank and creating a bunch of bubbles and just a bunch of commotion in there. So made this oop oop. We want to put some uh, red Loctite, which I have. No, I didn't lose it. I didn't lose it, Quentin. Hey, I just used it too. <laughs> I always lose stuff when I just use it. We don't want this thing coming off in the tank. There we go. Got it going right down in that little groove. Looking good. I think I'm about ready to go back in. I think I am going to go back in. Got the dash 12 on there, right there. Got our new return line going in the top here. Got that smooshed. The float level. And this just runs to uh, the line that splits down by the tank. Or not splits, but comes apart. Let's put this thing in. Shop care. New business. Highly recommend. Hey! <laughs> My new invention, the Slag Catcher 5000. I'm trying to cut this off. I'm not trying to burn down my shop. Slag's going to go down there and right into a puddle of water. Trying to make a hole in my bucket. Okay, got that all cut down. I mean, won't catch the uh, catch this on the trailer anymore. <laughs> We're trying to back it off. This is just the uh, cross member for the uh, torque arm. Goes back to the differential. 
But yeah, this part here was hanging like, like down to there. I mean, it was freaking road catcher. But it had holes and stuff to bolt it together, but it was all welded together. So I just cut it off, put some more weld on there, made it a little nicer. And that's it. Okay, we finally got all of our parts in for this pump. Uh, MagnaFuel 750, the Pro Tuner series. It's supposed to support up to 2,000 horse, but I'm sure that's probably on pump gas. So, I don't know, what do you think? Around probably 1,500 maybe on, on the 85. But we've got a, let's see, which way is this going? So we're going that way. So we should have, yeah. Focus. Anyways, <clears throat> we've got 100 micron going in. 10 micron going out. I think we're going to mount it right up here. And there's our uh, dash 10 or dash 12, sorry, fitting that we welded on there. And then this pump. Put the camera back here far enough so we can see what we're going on. Oh, wait, we need to go the other way. There we go. We got another dash 12 there. It'll be a really short little piece of hose. I think I'm gonna have to weld something onto that. Oh, a spare tire cover carrier, whatever you wanna call it. Let's see, I'll probably weld something on right there. I think I'm gonna do that. I'll make me a bracket. All right, we got our fuel system pretty well done, up to the engine bay, anyways. Got our bracket mounted to this other bracket that's welded onto the little pan here. Just using uh, little nut certs because I've got a little, little nut certs in there. But yep, yeah, dash 12 all the way up to the engine bay. Got the line running that way. And we also made a bracket here. This will keep the tire and stuff from hitting this line that's going back behind here. And let's see this is the uh, this is the return line. It goes up into the tank. So all these lines are held up nicely by clamps. Made another cover, or made a cover to cover up these lines because they run into here. I didn't want them to get hit by anything from the tire, kicking up anything in the tire, or with the tire. And then go through a little, I probably should have left that off, but there's the factory holes there. So you just ran them through those lines, through those holes. This is the return. The pressure line runs there to the bulkhead connector. The return line comes off of this cooler here. Magnafuel recommends using the cooler on that pump, so we got a cooler. Oh yeah, we also got the differential back. There's a, let me get this light. The 12 volt. Get all the adjustable arms on both sides nice big big boy sway bar still need to tighten it down uh, it's got 33 spline axles the uh we had when he bought it, it had four tins in it so the carrier was two was the wrong size for the gear that we wanted to put on it which is a 332 i believe so it has got a brand new spool in it what else did we do? Oh, we made new brake lines. Made new brake lines all the way going all the way over on both sides. And we've got, we've got just the regular brake hoses here. So we are getting closer and closer. 
kind of the rest of the fuel system here. We finally mounted the regulator. It's coming right off this fuel rail. Got the injectors in there, two tins. Fuel pressure sensor. So we got the rail going into there, this rail going into there. And this will be the return going to that cooler. Got the valve covers power coated. This will be feeding to the uh, catch can off this valve cover, which is just one of those caps you can, just an oil cap. And then this side is going to be the other catch can feed. So it's getting closer and closer. Well, I think we're going to wrap up this video. I've got a lot of stuff on here for all the way from back from November. I haven't made a video with any of it yet with uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's just kind of just didn't come here that much but we're gonna get back at it and we got to get this car done for uh, the uh, streetcar takeover kickoff party it's gonna be in KC in April so we're gonna definitely have this car there and hopefully we can get Brady well Brady will definitely be there with his BMW so and uh, I'll throw some pictures of uh, other projects we've been doing too. We did a little trailer repair on this little aluminum trailer. And we did uh, some V-bands on some LS6 manifolds. I'll just throw some pictures of those items in here. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. I appreciate you guys watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.